Welcome to Bayon Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square, and inside the square is a quarter circle. And in this quarter circle, is drawn a line inside this square, and it intersects this uh, quarter circle, the chord of, I mean, the arc of the quarter circle. And this arc divides the length into two parts the one part is four units and the other part is two units and this diagonal i mean a segment inside which intersects the arc uh, forms a right triangle inside this uh, square with the two uh, one leg which is the side and a portion of the side so we are required to find the area of the square in the blue triangle okay so first thing that we need to do is uh, as you can see this uh, segment the four the six unit segment in total is actually a secant because it passes the this quarter circle into two points a secant and the exterior secant is two uh, we use and there is a tangent segment so it is best that we use the tangent secant segment okay so we label this as x okay so if we have the uh, tangent segment that we will need to square that and that is equal to the exterior segment which is 2 multiplied by the total secant segment which is 4 plus 2 and that is x squared is equal to uh, 4 plus 2 6 times 2 which is 12 so if we get the square root of both sides we have square root of 12 but uh, 12 can be written as uh, sorry this, this becomes x already so x is equal to uh, square root of 4 times 3 so 4 is actually a perfect square so we can take the square root of 4 and put it outside the radical sign so we have 2 square root of 3 okay so since this is a square and if this is a square then the sides are all equal and if we label this as a this side and this side is also a but uh, an unknown length which is 2 square root of 3 is uh, already here we know this value so we just need to uh, subtract that to get this length so we have a minus 2 square root of 3 and we actually form a right triangle with the two legs so this is the right triangle and we just need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of a. So, so we have a square plus a minus 2 square root of 3. These are the two lengths of the right triangle is equal to 4 plus 2 which is 6. But you need to square that so we become 6 square. So we have a square plus a square minus 4 square root of 3 plus this becomes 12 is equal to 36 so we have 2 a square and then we should have a sorry so minus 4 square root of 3 a then 12 minus 36 is actually equal to negative 24. So minus 24 equal to 0. And we can actually multiply this one up because all the coefficients are divisible by 2. So 1 half times 2, this becomes a square minus 2 square root of 3 a. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. So we have 12 
equal to zero. And we are to solve this resulting quadratic equation. Okay, so next is we solve this resulting quadratic equation by completing the squares. So completing the squares, we have to copy this first term. So negative two square root of three a. Then we need to add something, which is half of this. So that is square root of three. Because if we divide that, that becomes two square root of three divided by two. So this becomes square root of three. And you need to square that. So this becomes three. So is equal to put this negative 12 to the right hand side so this becomes 12 then you need to add 3 okay, so equal to 15 so since this is a perfect square trinomial on the left hand side so we have a minus 12 to 3 square okay so next is we take the square root of both sides so a minus square root of 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 15. Okay, so a is equal to the square root of 3. If we put this to the right hand side, that becomes square root of 3 plus or minus. But square root of 15 can be written as uh, square root of 5 times square root of 3. Okay, so this becomes square root of 5 times square root of 3. And we can actually factor out the square root of 3. So this becomes square root of 3 plus or minus, I mean 1 plus or minus square root of 5. Okay, so but before we go on, we just need to. I uh, use this positive big and that is a is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 15 because then the other root will read the negative distance okay so for the area of the square and that is actually a square we just need to square this square root of 3 plus the square root of 15 okay so if we square this we have to square this square root of 3 that becomes 3 and that becomes plus 2 square root of uh, 15 times 3 this becomes 45 so plus square root of 15 square is equal to 15 so this becomes 18 plus 2 square root of 45. Or 45 can be written as 9 times 5 inside. So we have 18 plus 2 times 9 times 5. So we have here, we can put the square root of 9 outside. So that is 3. So is equal to 18 plus 2. This becomes 3. So 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. Square root of 5 square units for the area of the square. So that is a square. And for the area of triangle, so that is uh, 1 half times a times a, mi a minus 2 square root of 3. So a times a minus 2 square root of 3 so it becomes 1 half times a which is square root of 3 plus square root of 15 then we need to multiply this by a which is square root of 3 but plus square root of 15 then we need to subtract this 2 square root of 3. Okay. So it's equal to 1 half times square root of 3 plus square root of 15 
and this fifteen can be written as uh, uh, square root of three. Oh, we just need to uh, simply add this, so this becomes uh, uh -huh, square root of fifteen, then minus square root of three. Okay, so we just rewrite this part. So uh, square root of 15 minus, I mean plus, a square root of 3. We just interchange it. And square root of 15 minus square root of 3. Okay, so this is actually, uh, will become the difference of two squares. So it's equal to 1 half times. So the square root of 15 square is actually 15. And there will be no middle term because this is positive and this is negative. So square root of 3 square will be 3. But this becomes negative 3. So 15 minus 3 is actually 12. And 12 over 2 is equal to 6. So for the area of the triangle, area T is equal to 6 square units. And that is our answer. Okay. So summarizing our answers, the area of the square is 18 plus 6 square root of 5 square units. While the area in the area of the triangle is uh, 6 square units. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.